Hey, FGG. Hey, look, uh, I wanted to send this message to you all. Hopefully you get it all individually. You'll, you'll have time to listen to it because it's real important. We're making changes. Uh, the changes that we're talking about, they start on the 25th, which is this Sunday. This Sunday, we are moving to a new wave, a, a new time start, right? We, we were starting at 11 a.m. We are now moving to start at 1020 a.m. So you are expected to be at the office at 1020 a.m. No longer 11, but 1020 a.m. That starts this Sunday for those that work this Sunday. Also, what starts this Sunday is the new mega cycle in the warehouse. So there's going to be changing the processes, the way they do things. We should see a benefit out of it. It should be better for us. Um, but with that also comes with the route reductions and things of that nature. So Justin was posting the schedule. Uh, some of you probably already saw the schedule, but there's going to be a slight difference because Sunday we're lower than we thought we were going to be. So it'll be less people working this Sunday, but we'll be working throughout the week. Now, the difference to this week is that even though we're going to have like 21 routes, we're going to be allowed to use rescuers and Amazon's going to pay me for rescues. So we'll be splitting a bunch of routes throughout this entire week. Everybody who works will get paid for at least eight hours. So at least eight hours, I'm going to pay you for it if, if you work, if you do a righteous split. So if you're taking 20 off a person, not paying you for that. I'm only going to pay you for the hours you work. But if you do a full split, half that route, then you'll get paid for at least eight hours, even if you work five hours. Um, so that's going to be one of the things that happen uh, this coming week. Uh, the other thing is the really, real important. We're going to be sending people home. If you're showing up late, we're going to be sending people home. If you're getting speeding events, so if you get hits with speeding or not wearing your seatbelt or driving through stop signs and driving through stop signs mean you didn't come to a complete stop or stop light, you didn't come to a complete stop. We're going to be taking people off. We're going to do suspension. So you'll get one day suspension for the first one. You'll get a three day suspension if it's the second one. And if you got more than that, then you're going to be completely removed. Um, so we're going to be real tight about how we do things. So we're trying to get things together. We're trying to get to the place where we're uh, back to being the best performing so group out of all the groups that we have. We've been there before. We expect to be there again. Um, so, I, you know, hey, that's the crew, you know. Uh, so we're just looking for you all to do the right thing. So I'm needing everybody to do their jobs and do their jobs right and to make sure you're following all our rules because Marcus and I are going to be real jerks this week real hey, jerks <laughs> uh, because we're going to make sure everybody doing what they're supposed to do so don't don't take it like oh, all of a sudden we don't like you or something like that we probably never liked you no i'm just kidding <laughs> but uh the, the truth is uh we're it's not a matter of liking anybody it's a matter of getting everybody to do the job right so when we go into the warehouse make sure everybody has their mask on they're wearing their vest they're wearing their uniforms make sure your windows are rolled down make sure your music is turned off because if we get in there and they say there's a problem with you we're going to send you home and give that route to somebody else um, so just please don't put yourself in a bad situation. And if you got the attitude where like, please send me home, tell us ahead of time. We don't need to go through all that stuff, right? Uh, we just need everybody to do what they're supposed to do. Uh, we need everybody to focus on driving safe. We need everybody to focus on doing right. Taking your photos, right? We take photos on everyone. Just so you know, your hand can't be in the photo. You should never be holding the package when you take the picture. It should be on the porch or in the back, wherever it's supposed to go. Uh, we never throw a package down on the ground. I got people who are literally just tossing packages on the com com customer's lawns. Unacceptable. All these things will be things that you'll be suspended for or removed for. So look, we're not being jerks. We're just making sure everybody follows the rules, right? Don't forget about the cameras too. We got cameras in these vehicles. If we see tape covering these cameras, and that means, I hope you understand, if you think that you keep tape on it all day and then when you come in, you pull it off before we, we check you out, uh, we can actually, and we will be monitoring all the video throughout the day. So if we see tape on these on these cameras, whether you put it on or it was on when you got on there, if you're driving with tape over those doggone cameras, we're going to suspend you or terminate you. So please don't put yourself in that situation. Right, Marcus? Yes, sir. Uh, we're dead serious. And please, please, look, we don't want to lose people over this petty crap, but we will. We will because we're going to be the best group once again. And to do that, that means that we got to be tight and we got to do things right. Um, but for the majority of you, this won't be a problem. We had that group that was doing the first wave for us. They were outstanding. I mean, not 100 percent of them, but the overwhelming majority of them were outstanding. The other part of it is that you got to be able to finish a route. So if you can't finish a route on your own if we got to rescue you, this ain't going to be the right job for you. We ain't rescuing people. Right. I mean, let me be clear about that. What I mean by that is that we should not have to work rescue anybody. If we have to rescue you and we do it, 
uh, you pretty much should know that that means that we're going to be probably moving on from you. Unless there's an unusual circumstance, because that can happen to anybody. So I need everybody to be focused. I need everybody to, uh, to follow the rules. Just remember, we start that this Sunday, this Sunday, which is April 25th. This Sunday, we start at 1020 a.m. This Sunday is when it all begins. Focus on this Sunday, April 25th, coming in at 1020. I suggest you not be late because if you're late and someone is there, we're giving them the route. So that means if somebody showed up who wasn't even supposed to work that day, if they're there and you're not there on time, and on time, we'll be clear about what that is, we're going to take that route and give it to somebody else. Everybody's looking for hours. This is going to be the opportunity to get hours. If they show up and, you are, and you're late, we're just taking that route. So I suggest you set your alarm clock, get yourself up, have your boyfriend, girlfriend shake you, have your wife, husband shake you, and get you behind up and get to work. Uh, we do appreciate y'all, uh, and we should be able to see more about that as we go on. But please, please, everybody, do the right thing. We appreciate y'all. God bless. God bless. Talk to y'all later. FGG, for God's glory.